With the rising cost of brand new vehicles, often you wonder, well, my budget is limited to SUVs with over 100,000 miles. How do I get into a used vehicle that has no warranty and I'm not gonna be worried about throwing in $7,000 transmission right after I buy it? Well, the peace of mind is hard to find these days with these over complex vehicles, but you are in luck because according to iccars.com, repairpal.com, as well as a whole pile of research, I've concluded a list of 10 of the most reliable SUVs that you can buy with over 100,000 miles that are worth every penny. Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. The first SUV on our list where you can easily drive over 100,000 miles and it's worth every single penny is this full-size SUV. We're looking at the Nissan product and this is clearly an Armada. It's a third row SUV. It gets average about 16 miles per gallon. It does carry the V8 engine in the second generation of the Armada, which gets you about 390 horsepower, comes mated up to a seven speed automatic transmission. And as well, not just the capacity to pull your load, pull a tow, a boat, you can haul a lot of extra seating capacity in here for a lot of extra people kids adults as it does have a third row and that's very limited in that market these vehicles do come with lots of great chrome all kinds of extra details and a very prominent front end according to repairpel.com the average about 550 dollars per year of annual servicing and as well would you believe it iccars.com rates this for overall reliability of 8.9 out of 10. With the torque converter automatic transmission and that naturally aspirated V8 engine, it is a guaranteed surefire win for a huge amount of miles with a minimal amount of maintenance costs. The Nissan Armada second generation, a vehicle that'll easily run well beyond 100,000 to 300,000 miles. And in case you're wondering what years of the Nissan Armada to shop for, 2016 and newer is where you wanna go. Another ultra safe bet is the fourth generation of the Toyota a RAV4, which has absolutely sublime levels of reliability. iccars.com rates it an 8.5 out of 10 for overall reliability. RepairPel gives this vehicle a 4 out of 5 star and says it's about a $429 annual service cost. These vehicles are cost effective, very affordable to own and operate to buy up front, but buying them late model used is very expensive because they hold their value and hence why if you can find one they're definitely worth keeping because they're going to last hundreds of thousands of miles you can get a multitude of different drivetrains from obviously you get a vehicle like this with the hybrid features the two and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder up with the ecvt transmission as well as the hybrid drivetrain gives you one of the most reliable and robust setups in any segment of the industry you can also get a naturally aspirated two liter two and a half liter four cylinder engine comes with all-wheel drive optional as you'll notice right here in this case in this vehicle it does feature a two plus three in the back and a sizable trunk space but you can haul some weight with this vehicle it also comes with a multitude of different technologies from lane keep assist to that wonderful cruise control that keeps you engaged and sped up and slow down for the traffic in front of you it has all of the technology you could possibly ask for all of the features and amenities and while it's not the fanciest it's certainly not no frills i mean you can get a lot of these great vehicles they get a lot of updates led lights you do get sunroofs in some of these versions and with alloy wheels or a six-speed automatic or a six-speed manual in certain markets toyota is strong on their stringent quality control observation and ensures that they sell a vehicle regardless of where it's produced that is one of the most reliable vehicles you could possibly ever dream of let's just say you wanted to step up your budget slightly you wanted to step into one of the premium versions of a lexus product you could definitely do a lot worse than these vehicles now they're full size large you can tow a lot of weight the latest generation in the third and fourth generation of these vehicles come with about an 8500 tow capacity with an integrated hitch receiver right there you've got a very bold back end allows you for a lot of space in there very strong and sturdy haunches here step guards for smaller people in your life and these are known for ultra levels of reliability. Now the third generation of the Lexus LX series came from a different variety of engines. You can either get a six speed automatic transmission, an eight speed automatic transmission. And in many of these generations, different engines available were the 4.6, the 4.7 V8. And in this case, the LX570 is the 5.7 V8, which is known for its high level of reliability. First generation had a few quirks, but these vehicles are ultra reliable. According to iccars.com, the average LX570 570 is good for at least 203,000 miles and should last at least 17 years if you take care of these vehicles. 
Also, the probability of a severe failure in owning one of these vehicles is a very important number to consider as it's 9% for the LX570 like this, whereas the industry average for luxury full-size SUVs is closer to 12%. So this is much better than the industry average. And RepairPel estimates the average service for keeping one of these LX570s on the road is about $832, whereas the industry average for a luxury SUV like this is closer to 1,000. And they're not all just a pretty face. Sure, while the fuel economy is a little heavy on these vehicles, you do get a naturally aspirated slow turning V8 engine, and that's the very engine that is now being replaced in the latest generation with the turbocharged 3.4, which allegedly already has a few problems. This vehicle is known for high levels of durability, is good for many miles, it gives you a lot of features, of course, with dual VVTi systems. Of course, in certain models, you get the crawl control system, 20 inch wheels as a standard on most of these vehicles. You get all of the amenities from all of the interior finishings, the luxury appointments. You get lots of glass on the roof as well and lots of room for all your happy customers riding around inside. The LX570 is one of those vehicles that is good for many, many miles and is clearly, once you buy one of these, worth every single penny. They don't come cheap, but you can keep them forever and they will literally almost outlast you and I. And for those that need a full-size SUV but don't necessarily want to go to the Lexus or luxury car segment, we have a Chevy Tahoe, which is essentially a GMC Yukon in another skin. Of course, yes, GMC and Chevy, they have had their problems and there's a few new Responses. We know there's been some lifter rocker issues and a few little issues with some of the transmissions. But generally, because it's a large pickup truck that can and will be subjected to hard duty off-roading, of course, naturally, it's got a ladder frame suspension. Even though there might be a few electrical gremlins, most of the engines hold up very well. The transmissions have had some shifting issues, but overall, not terrible. There's lots of room and capacity, and the overall chassis of these vehicles are big and sturdy. Again, as I say, built on a full-size pickup truck. And according to RepairPal.com, you're looking at about an average of $566 per year for servicing for the Yukon or, of course, the Tahoe being very much the same. And according to ICCars.com, the average Yukon like this has a 17.7% .7 chance of making it over 250,000 miles, and that puts it about 2.1 times better than the industry average. So while these vehicles aren't necessarily perfect, they are built on a heavy-duty chassis, heavy-duty suspension slow and low turning v8 engine in most cases and an automatic transmission that handles the torque with a heavy rear differential that can drive the power to the ground and while these chevys and gmc's won't hold a candle to lexus in terms of overall nickel and dime reliability the long-term durability and long-lasting ability will make these vehicles potentially last a long time, as much as 250,000 plus miles. And here's one that shouldn't really surprise. We have the Acura MDX is the next vehicle that makes the list. Of course, there's a few caveats. Being an upscale Honda product, you would anticipate being primarily reliable. Now in the current generation, the fourth generation that we're looking at right here, you can get an optional three liter turbocharged V6 engine under the hood, but I would skip that. I would go with the naturally aspirated V6 because that's their tried and true bread and butter engine Engine that they've had for many years. You can get either a six-speed automatic transmission over the years or a nine-speed ZF automatic transmission, and they're both quite reliable. There's a DCT also available when you get the hybrid version. There was a hybrid in the third generation, and a three-liter engine and coupled with that, of course, gave you the DCT. Whichever drivetrain you go with, they're typically quite reliable, but the simpler the better. That's why the naturally aspirated V6 is very durable. And RepairPal says that these Acura MDX cost an average of about $571 per year of servicing, which puts them about smack dab in the middle of your average mid-size SUV in this space. Now, what we're looking at here is the current generation from 2022. You do get that up revised optional turbo engine and of course the nine speed automatic transmission. But if you go to the third generation, it came out in 2014 to 2022 is where you would get some of those more basic tried and true configurations. These vehicles are so durable in fact that iccars.com actually rates them about a 9.3 out of 10 in terms of overall reliability and I totally believe it these vehicles are quite robust the only downside is of course the VCM the variable cylinder management can cause some problems with time of course carbon fouling direct injection but like most vehicles these days have that so you just got to maintain that and of course a timing belt which is quite a little bit old school considering that most vehicles now go with a timing chain Honda's elected to go with the timing belt in these 3.5 liter v6 engines and the only serious 
seriously problematic Acura MDXs that you ever found were around 2001, 2, 3, and 4, where they had some catastrophic transmission issues. Other than that, they've been getting that right. Transmissions are much more robust these days. Those V6 engines are much more robust these days. And the overall durability is, is such in way that these vehicles are good for hundreds of thousands of miles. So to find one of these with 100,000 miles is easy. You'll easy get another two or 300,000 miles on it. If you take care of your belt changes, your carbon issues, and just generally take care of maintenance as overall. Do your oil services on time and you should have no problems. The Acura MDX is one of those vehicles that's tried and true and it's built for a lot of miles. And yes, they're also more aerodynamic than a lot of their competition. They also give you some great new designed headlights, of course, standard alloys, a spec in certain configurations. I love the handles. They've got something very unique going on there and a very stylish looking design around here. And naturally, like most SUVs, they have this very aggressive look at the back there. So they're attractive, they're reliable, they're easy to own and operate, and definitely one you've got to look at. The next vehicle we're talking about is the infamously, famously reliable Honda, as we're noticing right there on that big bar, and it's the CRV right here. It's their smaller subcompact SUV that we're looking at right here. In certain markets, it came with a three row. In North America, it was circularly a two row SUV. You could get a variety of different drivetrains from two liters, two point four liter naturally aspirated engines were the most reliable vehicles and in the model year starting in 2012 2013 you could also get the 2.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine it was good for around 180 horsepower comes either with front wheel drive or all wheel drive as standard and of course it has a whole feature of technology these vehicles were reliable easy to maintain and according to repair pal the average service cost per year is about 251 dollars According to iccars.com, the Honda CRV, particularly pulling a model year out of the hat, 2018, offers up a nine out of 10 in terms of reliability. Honda has switched over in the mid teens to around 2016. They stepped into a CVT transmission, which is slightly less reliable than some of their older generational torque converter six speed automatic transmissions, or in some markets, you can get manuals as well. But the CVTs were not terrible, not as bad as the Jatco transmissions that you often found with a lot of the Nissan products products, Honda did it a lot better. And not only that, they also come in later generations now with a 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder engine. There have been a few little issues with oil and fuel dilution challenges definitely worth a look and Google, but overall the Honda CRV is one of those vehicles, get the right make, the model and year, and you're gonna have a vehicle that's good for three, 400,000 miles. It's a generational car and definitely worth every single penny. Now here's another great offering by Lexus. If your budget happens to be slightly higher and you're looking for something in the luxury car segment, this one has you covered. Now these generational Lexus vehicles have not got nothing but better over the years. With the big L, the RX350 is the vehicle that you're really looking for. Because when the RX series of vehicles came back originally, it had a three liter V6. Then a few years later, they came out with a 3.3, but when it really got exciting, it was in the third generation back in 2009, they came out with a three and a half liter V6, which was ultra reliable. They kept building on that, and back in 2015, they stepped into this later generation of the RX series of vehicles where they went this drastic, large style grille. Before then, it was a lot smaller, more subdued, and it was a simpler looking SUV. Now, Lexus went for the more bold style styling approach in the mid 2015, 16 range. And you've get some great headlights. You get these all kinds of extra nice detail there and all kinds of extra chrome. You get laser cut wheels, LC 500 mirrors from their infamous sports car. You get lots of glass roof on top as well. And I love the look and the detail of this trim. If you look at that trim line there, they definitely brought style to the game with this vehicle. Now this is on a unibody platform, so it's not a true dedicated off-road SUV. But for those people, need a nice reliable SUV that's going to get you unrelenting reliability year after year in the dark and the rain and the sleet and the snow this vehicle has you covered because iccars.com rates this as 8.9 out of 10 in terms of overall reliability there's no question no one's ever going to doubt the durability of a lot of these vehicles because with the eight speed automatic transmission that's known for high levels of reliability this three and a half liter v6 that puts out about 300 horsepower is one of those engines that has two fuel injection systems you've essentially got direct injection 
injection that gives you the performance, the metering, and the economy that a lot of modern day vehicles expect. But a lot of modern day vehicles don't give you the port injection to keep the intake and the valves clean as well. But guess what Lexus and Toyota products are and do. And this three and a half liter V6 is one of the most reliable offerings by Lexus and Toyota products. That's why this vehicle is guaranteed to run for many, many miles. You can expect three, four, five hundred thousand miles out of these with a proper round of maintenance. You get timing chains, you get VVTI lines. There was an issue there, but there was a bulletin and a recall that took care of that. Other than that, these vehicles are literally bulletproof. Now they are currently built in Ontario, Canada, of course, for the Canadian market or US market. But generally speaking, the quality control that comes with a product from Toyota or Lexus carries through, whether it's built in Japan, North America, and you can expect this high level of reliability in a lot of these V6 engines up till and including the latest and the greatest, which now they finally switched over in the 350 over to a 2.4 liter turbo four. So 2024 is when that all changed. So if you're looking for a durable, reliable, late model SUV that's gonna go hundreds of thousands of miles and you know it's worth every single penny, go with one of these 2016 to 2023 model years you're definitely good to go. And right here we have the next SUV that warrants a look. While it's on a unibody platform, it drives more like a minivan, but it has the all-terrain capability of many SUVs. This midsize SUV is built in a way that it's certainly more functional than it is based on design. Now, while this is the previous generation, the current generation definitely has a little bit more going on on the front end, but what hasn't changed is the overall reliability up to almost the current generation, which now has gone pretty much all turbocharging. The previous generations with the three and a half liter V6 engine are durable by Toyota. And the Toyota Highlander like this is one of those vehicles that isn't built to be so rugged like the Toyota 4Runner. Rather, it's built to be more functional for the growing family as you often get the third row SUV here, easy access, wide doors, just a very functional vehicle. The V6 engines, the easy smooth shifting automatic transmissions, make sure that these Toyota Highlanders are simple and easy to use. Low cost of maintenance, $473 per year as per repair pal, and they even rate them four out of five stars in terms of overall reliability. iccars.com says these are good for 185,000 miles or more if you're using them pretty much day to day, full time with the proper amount of maintenance. I personally had a 2022 model year on loan last year down in California. I drove it for a significant amount of miles. It handled superbly. It's a little soft, it's plush ride, but it has enough room for everybody, including the pets. And for people who have a little bit more budget, this is what you step into. The RAV4 is a little bit smaller in size. The, Ra the Highlander is a perfect sweet spot, mid-size, larger people hauler, more power, better performance, more amenities. You get sunroofs, you get better infotainment equipment and more safety features. These are absolutely great vehicles. And for anybody looking to move the family around and they wanna do it reliably, minimal cost, no muss, no fuss with minimal amount of breakdowns, the Toyota Highlander definitely is a must check. The next great SUV on the list is what we have right here. And we're talking about a Honda and it's a pilot. This carries a great V6 engine that's been around for quite some time. Three and a half liter V6. It's tried and true. They've gone through multitude of different generational transmissions, six speed automatic, nine speed ZF automatic transmission. And now in the latest generation, there's a 10 speed automatic transmission brought to the forefront. There's been multitude of changes, cosmetic, interior, safety changes, changes but the bottom line is because Honda and its overall reliability and its reputation people love these and they're good for a ton of miles but one vehicle that people never regret is the third generation which runs from 2015 to about 2022 repair pal ranks these vehicles of having a four out of five star in terms of overall reliability and the annual cost of servicing for these vehicles is around $542. Put some smack dab right in the middle of all of their other competitors. And iccars.com actually says they're good for an average of 179,000 miles or about 12.2 years if you're using them hard and maintaining them properly. As well, they rate them at 9.2 out of 10 in terms of overall reliability. I personally was trying out many different third row SUVs and the Pilot was one that actually fit the best. Even outdoes the likes of the Toyota Highlander, which has a smallish third row. The Honda Pilot actually fits just about right. And that three and a half liter V6 is one of the last few naturally aspirated V6 engines on the market. As every one of its competitors are now switching over to turbocharged four cylinder engines, hybridization, 
Honda's keeping it simple with a torque converter automatic transmission, a V6. The only downside is it's direct injection. It needs the odd maintenance to keep the carbon down and as well timing belts, which you probably want to swap out every 100,000 miles or so. Other than that, the Honda Pilot is one of those vehicles easy to live with, very reliable and good for hundreds of thousands of miles. And even if you had to buy one with 100,000 miles, you're probably still going to get two, 300,000 miles on top of it. It's definitely money well spent. And here we go. We have one of Toyota's absolute best and it's been absolutely legendary for reliability. That's why these vehicles are good for three, four, five hundred thousand miles easily all day because they don't need a lot of maintenance and the maintenance basically stay on top of it. This vehicle can last a half a million miles. Yes, you get a four liter V6 engine under the hood, made it up to a five speed automatic five speed and it's both ultra reliable. You can get in some trim levels, you can get a third row seat. Of course, it has lots of space. It's built on a truck platform. So you know it's gonna take the off-roading capability very well. And it's been around a long time. Go back to 1990 and their three liter V6. Even with the head gasket issues, sorted that and then the engine and the rest of the vehicle was good for many miles. Then you had a 3.4 and even for a short while, they had a V8 engine that was also quite reliable. So these vehicles, ultra reliable they've got great amenities modern platforms actually have all of the luxury features that you could possibly want all the safety features take a look around you have this nice inlet here of course big headlights beautiful wheels on there stepping guards around there you have all kinds of greatness it's very vertical so it's easy to get in and out for a lot of smaller people and you can store a lot of luggage in there it's a very practical SUV 4x4 from 2009 up to about 2024 gives you that ultra reliable 4 liter V6 engine under the hood made it up to that 5 speed auto and of course a base engine of 2.7 4 cylinder in certain markets these vehicles are so reliable 4 out of 5 star from repair pal also below average service costs and on top of it iccars.com actually gives this vehicle a 9.4 out of 10 in terms of overall reliability there's nobody else in the game with that level of reliability the toyota 4runner built on a truck platform reliable durable and worth every single penny and in case you want to do some roadside inspections here check that out that's my inspection list of how to properly go from top to bottom on a used vehicle to make sure that you don't get caught up with any of those pitfalls hope to see each and every one in the next one we'll see you real soon bye bye